Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. So today let's look at how to install OpenSSL and Linux machine. So first thing what you need to do on your Linux machine is to run yum update, of course, and then let it get update to the latest version. Uh, I'm currently running CentOS 7 over here. I'm going to just run yum update so that my machine gets fully updated. It might have lots of updates which needs to be updated. Uh, once I am updated to latest version, there are certain requirement which needs to get installed, so certain prerequisites, I would say, certain uh, packages which need to be installed before OpenSSL, right? And to do that, you need to run a yum install command again for those packages. I'll show you what packages need to be installed in terms of yum command, but you might see that I already have those installed over here, so it might not do anything on top of it. But yum update is fine, then we are going to install OpenSSL on this Linux box. So as you can see, I'm just updating uh, and it is just downloading the packages that will install it. Once these packages are installed, we will move forward and do the required packages installation command. And then after that, we will do OpenSSL installation. So all the packages which are required got updated. Now the next part is to install prerequisites. So for that, I am update, install, for you can run one command to install all these packages in one go. Okay, we'll just install these packages over here. So there are 36 different uh, packages which needs to be downloaded and installed. You will install them first and then you will install OpenSSL. Okay, now let's go to OpenSSL command. So we can do yum OpenSSL. You see now it says there is no mirror loaded because there is no yum of OpenSSL available on this particular uh, place, right? So you need to first install yum install wget. Okay, once this is done, the next part is to do wget command to get the OpenSSL library itself. So we, what we are going to do is we are going to write wget command in order to install OpenSSL on this particular machine. So what you can do over here is first thing, let's get something like um, open Let's check if we have it, open SSL version. And you see there is nothing available for us. So what we can do in this case is we can write a command to get the open SSL from wget. wget and we'll say dot org slash source slash open SSL hyphen one sorry open SSL hyphen one dot 
zero dot two hyphen latest dot star dot gz. You can manually download it also, but otherwise you can just simply download through w get command. If you download manually, of course, you just need to upload that uh, downloaded file through any WinSCP files or any file server, file server clients, and then you can just run the commands. It seems this URL is not working. Let's try with other one. W get https ftp dot open ssl dot org slash source slash open ssl dot and ssl hyphen one dot one dot one k dot tr this is a file which it will try to download so now the file is downloaded what we need to do next is we have to uncompress it right so to uncompress it we will write tar hyphen x z v f open ssl and the file name completely will come when I will press tab and you can see we have done unzip to it and we'll say open SSL K okay and now we'll configure the compilation package for that so there is a command for this which you need to write so there is a configuration script and then you will type prefix equals to hyphen USR Hyphen open SSL DIR equals to I'm defining the directory for that. Okay, and then lib DIR equals to lib no hyphen shared Z lib hyphen dynamic okay and then we'll say compile package So this is compiling um, test now. This is compiling the package. Once this is done, we will um, do test. Com we'll t test the compilation of the package. We'll uh, test compile the package. Then we will install the compiled package. And then later we have to export library path. And then we have to add certain content into it. And we have to load the environment variable and then we'll verify the open SSL version over there. Meanwhile, if you have not subscribed to my channel, do it now and turn notifications on so that you can get notification about my latest tutorials. Do follow me, do comment and do subscribe to my channel. So our compilation uh, is done. What we are going to do is we are going to test compile. Okay, so here we are good. Then net, next we are going to install compile package.
so the next uh, step is to export library path for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Vim you can use uh, other file editor also because we are going to add it up file over here okay so because I do not have Vim uh, I can use this command then I think Vim is not installed. We can install Vim also, but I can use then this command. In fact, let's install Vim. So let's run the Vim command. Let's install the Vim. So we'll say yum install Vim it will install the Vim package for us. Now let's run the... Oh, my bad, I was supposed to run Vim. Okay, so here we are. Now what we are going to do here is we are going to add the following line over here okay and we are going to add the line right export export ld underscore library underscore path equals to this Once this is done, we will press escape. We'll write this to the file. Then we can look at this file again. Okay. And then we have to load the environment variable and we'll say source PC. You see profile dot d slash open ssl dot sh okay now we'll check open ssl version and you can see we have open ssl one dot one dot one k installed over here Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for. And to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.